you guys saw the thumbnail this driver is going to be a good one now for this test we're going to be testing our latest drivers for nvidia the 536.67 and in this test we're going to be using our rtx 3080 paired with the 5800x3d and test it out on our competitive games and see if there's been any changes at all we're going to start off with call of duty modern warfare and warzone 2 and see if there's been any changes on this part obviously competitive settings at 1080p let's go okay here we go boys and the first thing you would notice in here is our synthetic benchmarks in here as frame times are bugged so i've run this multiple times and the frame times are buggy but here you can see that our this thing it seems like the results are more or less the same there seems to be not much difference and i think this is because the I think the, the synthetic benchmark is bugged. So yeah, I mean there is a little bit of edge there in our new latest driver. VRAM, the same. RAM could be less, but I think they're more or less the same. Let's try this out on a real world Almazra and see if there's the, any real world difference on our latest drivers. And here we have our latest drivers and you can see our 0.1% lows are actually better on the latest drivers. Uh, VRAM is more, RAM is less, but the main point in here is it's much more stable. You can see that on our frame time charts. And boys, we've tried this multiple times. We've run this multiple times to actually ensure that this is the best runs for both of these ones. And this is the best ones for everything. All right, let's move on to the next game, Apex Legends. Here we go. Apex Legends going to be running at 1080p, competitive settings once again. Let's try this one out and the firing range and see if there's any effect on our latest driver. Here we go. Now it seems like they're mostly the same on this end. Right, VRAM, same. RAM, more or less same. Let's see how this handles every action scenes. Boom. There we go. I think our latest driver is much more stable. Let's go with still shots. And in here, you can see our older driver has slightly lower 1% and 0.1% lows. And I've tried this multiple times. It seems like there's just those frame time spikes that are appearing in here. And that's why it has slightly lower 1% and 0.1% lows. Let's move on to our next game, Fortnite. And as always with Fortnite, we'll be trialing out all three APIs, DX12, DX11, and Performance Mode. Let's uh, let's start off with DX12 in here. And looks like our latest drivers is starting strong. Let's see how this one holds up. But seems like our um, older drivers seems to be catching up. Yep, I think now it's more obvious here in the later part of the benchmark that. Seems like our old driver could be much more stable in here. VRAM, uh, the latest drivers uses more VRAM, slightly more VRAM, and uh, but lesser RAM. Overall, I think in this one, DX12, it probably goes to the older driver. Let's go with DX11 and see how that one turns out. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Older driver for the DX12. Okay, here we go, DX11, uh, competitive low settings. All right, let's try how. Let's try this one out. Okay, looks like we're starting strong again with the latest driver. We got RAM. Uh, using more RAM. Uh, VRAM is the same. Yeah, it seems like our new driver is better. 0.1% lows in here. All right, average AP is the same. Yeah, yeah, point one percent lows. This is a spare type spike in there, and you can see it's much more stable than the new driver in there. Alright, so yep, this one's pretty good at the late, latest driver. So yeah, I, I would give this one to the latest driver. Yep, look at that, much more stable. And guys, before we proceed, if you are interested in more of these driver testings, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We try to do these tests multiple times. And to do it, you'll be up to speed with any changes of drivers and if you think you should update the latest drivers all right let's go with performance mode in this one okay fortnite performance mode and latest drivers and it seems like our older driver seems to be hitting maybe um, vram is the same ram usage is the same our new driver is catching up in this part of the benchmark 
lower average FP is, but I think the point one move point one percent lows is a bit hit there. Let's see. Let's see in the later part of the benchmark if it tends to pick up and it did. So in the later part of the benchmark with all these structures in here and all that stuff, I would give it to the latest driver. So yeah, we try to balance our benchmark in here with like actions and buildings and stuff. So yeah, that's what goes to the latest driver. Uh, let's move on to the next game, Valorant. Here we go, Valorant. Competitive settings at 1080p. Now we won't be testing 1440p or anything like that. It's just this, is just basic driver testing, boys. Let's go with 1080p. Boom. All right. Strong start for both, but it seems like our latest driver could be hitting here. Like, yeah, look at that one. Difference between 1% lows, boys, and the 0.1% lows. Quite a big difference there. Though it's catching up, but quite a big difference there for our latest driver. Let's try how... Let's see how this one goes out on heavy action scenes. Okay, heavy action scenes. Let's see... Once again, 1% lows goes to the latest drivers, average FPS goes to the latest drivers, 0.1% lows goes to the latest drivers. So yeah, definitely use the latest drivers if you want more FPS. VRAM is slightly the same and RAM well, uses slightly less RAM. That's about it for Valorant. Let's go to the next game, PUBG. And here we are, PUBG. Uh, yeah, competitive settings with PUBG, 1080p. DX11 Enhance and here we are running shots in here it seems like once again our latest driver is heading the back here so obviously we've got like using more RAM VRAM is slightly more or less the same I mean yeah the 0.1% lows is swapping over there but the 1% lows is a big difference there let's try this one out with um, some action or maybe some smoke can you fix on this one because I figured that we've only beat this thing PUBG with running shots let's go with some smokes and fix and here we go with the fix and you can see right here that our latest drivers definitely has more FPS and 1% and 0.1% lows here with our fix smokes and stuff so yeah I'm pretty happy with this latest drivers boys if you want a recap of the previous driver and how it compares to the 536 point well 36 i think the previous one before this so click this video right here if you want to know more about that and as always if you like this video please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want more of these content i'll see you guys in the next video